Hello guys, Hatred Elemental back once again with Draco Sotas here. How's it going everyone? And we've got the Twilight Lodge to explore. Oh, it's got an energy element. Cool. Actual conversation one! Hey Spark, let me know if you want to shove Wishing Star for Mega Man's Christmas thingy in there somewhere. To be honest, I almost want to have Mega Man's Christmas thingy in the final game just because we can. Are you serious? Um, this is Christmas music. That it is. Oh, come on now. Come on, you can't be that big of a pain in the ass, can you? There we go, made it. Uh, okay, an 8-bit rendition of Silent Night, and... Uh, Oh, new Joe type. Well, maybe a bit more of an upgraded Joe type. Still looks nice. Nice physics! Actually, I think the fans were at fault there, too. Maybe, I don't know. Gonna speedrun this place. I can't help it if I love the Christmas season. I'm more of a Halloween guy myself. Yeah, I do love Halloween. But there's just something special about being together with family for the holidays. Um. A green power master. Don't see that every day. Nope. Thank you for eating that guy, Big Fish. Also, I think this was a judge-designed stage. Maybe. Oh, jeez. Ah, I did it! Oh, um, I see the spikes up there. Huh. <laughs> okay! That's... Honestly, quite something. I like that design for them better than the original. He makes me laugh. Ow. Do I not fall off of ladders? Oh, suddenly space physics. Okay. Oh, it's missing with my head. You think it's messing with your head? I'm the one playing. Touche. Oh, we got a cannon. A cannon that has since died. Power Masslers... Power Masslers aren't very hard once you get used to them. Is that a possible jump to make? That is a very possible jump to make. Don't need you. Meet the extended, extended Joe family. Oh, this is a boss spot. This is the boss theme for Mega Man A Christmas Carol. Also, is that the North Star? Yeah. I okay. die. The story of this battle is, I died. Carol of the Bells, but it's a boss theme. It's an interesting concept for a fan game. Mega Man the Christmas Carol. No, it's Mega Man A Christmas Carol. Mega Man A Christmas Carol. CHALLENGE COMPLETE! Okay. That was fun. Not gonna lie. So we've got... 31st. The Retro Dude. Cursor Curse. curse. That's fun to say! 31.2. 25, 37, 30, 34, 30. 
Okay. One energy element. Point time. What? Uh, uh, big time. Uh, Can we just avoid you? I think we gotta trick this guy into deleting that block below us. Okay. Aye. Oh, come back here. It's a stage editor stage! It's a stage editor stage. That is certainly a concept. Oh, oh hello. Man. And we have to worry about that annoying noise. And the cursor, probably. Yes, we do have to worry about the cor the cursor. The cursor! Cursor curse! Remember, if you need them, you have E-Tanks. I know. Erg! But we've also got Tellies. True. Yeah, I saw you. Oh, oh whoa! <laughs> Irritating met type. Jump, 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 oh, jump. Joy, just what we need. Huh? Hardy, hardy, hard. I'm afraid I simply don't understand. I haven't done for every time I heard you say that. I'm afraid I simply don't understand. Yeah. You would probably have a dollar. <laughs> Ten dollars. Eighty billion thousand dollars, which isn't a number. Eighty billion dollars. I don't know, I always like to throw a thousand in there. I've never been so irritated at such a cute enemy in my life. Uh, once again, bringing up Metars. Jump, jump. That's not a thing. Jump, jump. Yeah, there's nothing annoying about that voice at all. Uh, okay, so it just cuts off there. Hi! Oh yes, I always hated you. Pen oh no! I've had enough of pen pens. They are officially added to the list of enemies that I just do not deal with because of that one stage. Somebody had fun with the stage editor here. Whales and snails. <laughs> that actually sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Whales and snails. You guys take forever to kill. Oh. 
I can't move. Hey! Ow! Hot dog, hot dog. Please tell me we get to fight that annoying cursor. Yes, we do! Pit! Ah! Hey, 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 no, 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 Seems like all they do is just block the shots. No. I will not have a press the wrong button moment. This is definitely an original concept. I've never had a boss fight against Coin Time before. Gotcha. Okay, that was fun. Definitely intriguing. Interesting. Man, this started off so good and adorable, and then it just dropped off. I love the cursor concept, and the first few screens do a really nice job of being all YO GIMMICK! And they're just hilarious in general. And then the level just kind of spirals down into just pasting down random pasting. ideas. Pasting down random ideas. With, thank you. With the occasional appearance of the cursor. There's a random Vault Man fight where the cursor just spams tellies. There's a random gravity flip section. There's a random sled section. And then the end is just some random gauntlet of mini bosses that just has nothing to do with the cursor. The boss is okay, I guess, though the enemies can pile up really easily. It's really sad to just see a really neat concept so go down the drain so quickly. I wish there was way more done with this concept. That was an awesome gimmick. The delete thing at the beginning was especially cool, but it wasn't entirely obvious what you were supposed to do at first. The level itself was a nice set of challenges, and the boss at the end was really cool. The rounders were pretty annoying, though. However, the graphics are, the graphics are extremely minimal, and the music doesn't loop properly. This level makes me so sad. I absolutely adore the premise and how the level starts. However, as soon as Voltman drops in, it feels like the level slowly but surely runs out of ideas. The entire charm from the start takes a backseat to mid-bosses, which were placed in such a way that they don't give much of a signal besides filler. The fight against the cursor was pretty cute, though he could have used a proper pattern. I'd have liked to see him use his right-click powers more. Man, though, this level could have been so much more. I really liked the idea behind this one, but unfortunately, it wasn't executed as well as it could have been. By that, I mean the cursor enemy gimmick is interesting, but it doesn't really do anything except for the first screen and the two bosses. Speaking of which, the first boss is pretty annoying. Other than that, I think the amount of mini bosses is too high, and most of the level just feels empty sometimes. Overall, this isn't a bad stage, but it definitely could have been better. This is an utter shame. Your level concept promised a Michelin star quality meal. Sure, the decoration in the place is shoddy, but everything sounds so interesting! In the end, it offered a tasty appetizer, followed by a burnt, chewy steak with overcooked veg, but at least had the decency to end with a solid, if rather boring, pudding. And now I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get something clear. Your opening room was fantastic. Even though the introduction will likely kill the player the first time they see it, which after, it did, after that point, they will understand the gimmick. And honestly, I say you still introduce that gimmick... well. Because while it will probably kill the player, it is very clear the player's death was still their fault. Curiosity kills the cat, as they say. And the level seems to continue the trend, with a nice little flair for spike placement, and even an interesting idea for a mid-stage robot master. There's some issues with the implementation, namely the boss room is far too small for the boss you used. And then promptly drops the ball. What happened to the rest of the stage? We just get utterly random dev kit, dev kit gimmicks with no rhyme or reason to their existence. Most of them, like Frostman's sled, aren't even justified in this stage's little universe. And what was up with the ending of that segment? And every single mini-boss felt like filler. I really wish I could see more things unique to the mouse cursor idea. You have an entire menu at the right click there! It would have been great to see some other actions! The stage ends before anything else interesting happens. 
The boss is okay, although there is a bit too much RNG and spam in the battle for my tastes. Disappointing stage, really. This could have been a contender had it followed through with its core concept. Yeah. What do you have to say, Junk Man? This cursor fellow wanted to toss me into the recycle bin! I managed to escape and snatch some terabytes of data about how to cure various viruses! Good for you! 30th, Big Fish, Cossacks, Other Citadel! 31.4, Junkman becomes an IT guy. Very divided. Let's go! Just one energy element. I do like this theme, though. It sounds different than the original, though. It I think, does. I think there's a bit of an echo to it. But it's still definitely 8-bit. Bouts. Bouts. Hey! That part is definitely different. I want that life! Ow! I want it even more now! Oh, okay. We've got Ring Man gimmicks. Come on now. Huh? Okay. Music loops. A bit too soon, I might add. Well, I don't know, but and that <laughs> loop is kind of messed up. Ha! I did it! And of course I walk into an easily avoidable enemy. I'm glad that I haven't changed. Yeah, that, per that part just sounds like it should be so much more epic. And I don't use that word. Like, I very rarely use that word. A lot of big bolts here. I like bolts. Oh, suddenly auto-scrolling. Okay. Whoa. You do you, and I'll do me, and we won't do each other. Probably. That was a great poem. Thank you. And Markiplier did it first, but hey. Yeah, that just loops way too soon. What is with all of the bolts? Who's complaining? Where's that demanding son? And more auto scrolling. <laughs> now I know why we go to the lower path. Hey! How Who said you could Okay. I'm just gonna pretend that everything is alright with the world. <laughs> cool. That was alright. Yeah. That was a decent stage. TFW, you decide to make in forms visible, always to make a uh, morms visible, always to make them more fair, and then someone makes them invisible anyways. Very good design in general. The whole level has a nice difficulty curve, and each of its gimmicks are used in good setups, and then all combined in the end. I don't really have much to say about the level besides the fact that it's just really well designed. Strongest parts are definitely the auto scroll parts. I adore the unorthodox usage of shield attackers here, and the giant chains of berries are hilarious. The room with berries and ladders is also one that I really like. It's just some simple but well-designed setups with a single enemy. Really solid level overall. I like it a lot. Well, that level existed. <laughs> Excuse me. Good zoom tight. Thank you. It was like a mashup of the four Cossack stages, but it didn't really do anything more than that. It was a pretty boring level, to be honest. 
Also, that auto-scrolling section- Also, in that auto-scrolling auto section, there are two shield attackers that are literally impossible to avoid without the flash stopper, and the last room scrolls because an object- because a stop scroll object is missing. I really like the start to this level. It presents all of its challenges one by one and builds on top of them through mutation of the setups. Sadly, my enjoyment with this level pretty much stopped as I went into the auto scroll sections. The first one is very the first one is very easy and leaves a lot of room for interesting things that can be done with enemies, even without making it too cramped. The second one can be rather unfair if you don't see the enemies coming in time. Also, where did the snow go? This stage is honestly mediocre. There's really nothing that stands out here, and there's a lot of problems. Regarding the level design, I actually think the first half is okay, but the second half is just filled with unfair enemy placement everywhere. Not to mention, the rain just makes things even more difficult. Also, the music choice is fine, but the echo is irritating and it doesn't even try to loop properly. The biggest critique of your stage is a lack of challenge, and the first few rooms are a little meh in design. The Amorm enemy does not get used very well here. But for using only some very basic gimmicks, this one worked! The tile set is put together fine, the enemy variety hits the best balance, overall this was quite good. It felt like an official Mega Man stage through and through, and that's what we like to see. Your standout room was the final one, but worth noting is the fact you actually took conveyance into account. Everything got introduced, and introduced well, even if I was not aware of these gimmicks and enemies from previous games. I am, but let's get hypothetical. You introduced them in such a fashion that the player could get used to them. And then you used everything in that last room to the best way possible. Even shield attackers! My word you used shield attack as well! Good stuff, mate! Only things really that could have improved the stage without changing the concept is perhaps a better choice in music, and looping it correctly for a start, as it's a tad predictable, and maybe give it a bit more bite towards the end. One more harder room, and I think you'd have nailed what you were going for. You also gave just enough of a hint that your stage was ending without making me anticipate a boss fight that would never come, so that is appreciated! Yeah? Good work, Big Fish. I see the energy balancer there. Grants... Uh... Gransfeld Hakase. Fortified, Fortified Lab. lab. 31.6. 29, 35, 33, 35, 26. Mmm. Let's go! Where is this music from? I don't know, but it does seem familiar somehow. It really does. It's a fortified lab, but Mega Man can just walk right in. What? What happened? What, what was going on? It's we have gimmick platforms! No, not you guys! Ha <laughs> ha, I knew how to take care of that. Oh, 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 oh. oh, there are spikes along that ladder. Ladder spikes are always fun. Uh, uh, uh. Hey! No, 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 no. Yes. Made it. Me. Time for me to use probably one of my favorite power ups. Although I never really used it in Mega Man. Was it in Mega Man 5? I think it was in Mega Man 5. Yeah, you got it for defeating Starman along with his weapon, the Star Crash. I never really used it much in Mega Man 5, but I sure am using it here, as everyone knows. Uh huh. Alright. There's a fan fiend. A really annoyingly positioned one, I might add. Hornet Chaser, maybe? That's probably the best bet. Oh, he's only in this... He's only in the room after this one, so we... Checkpoint! Yeah? We checkpoint! <laughs> Do you? Okay. You can't just slide off of that. Hernet Chaser! Hernet Chaser! Hernet Chaser! Nerf Nerf! 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 
Revenge of all the bugs. <laughs> oh, why? Music. It is good. Oh. Oh. Uh. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Pooker. Oh, this part makes me, that part makes me nervous. Oh, we got vertical scrolling. It's always nice to see vertical scrolling. Yeah. Mm, is that where? Electric Joe? I don't know, but where are they from? I don't know, but I know I remember seeing them from somewhere outside of this contest. We have the boss? Uh, no we don't. But that's pretty cool looking. Oy. If a wily fortress was compressed into one stage, most of the level I like, and it really does feel like something you'd see in, like, a late NES era wily fortress. But there are two sections that really bring the level down for me. You can tell which ones I don't like, because they both have bladers and Apache Joes in them! It's very easy to get unfairly killed just because you didn't see the enemy coming and either have the bladers swoop down at hyperspeed and kill you, or have the Apache Joe bump into you with its building-sized hitbox. The Pooker section is especially bad with this, because it's over a bottomless pit, so you don't have an opportunity to rescue yourself with Super Arrow or something. The rest of the level is fine, though, but the shield attacker room made me cry, because it's like the literal worst usage of shield attackers ever, and it gives me nightmares from bad fan games. The... the rest of the level is fine, though I don't think it's... Though I don't think it's terribly interesting. Besides maybe the Sparkman platform setups at the beginning, it's an okay level. Oh, by the way, this level looks amazing, especially because this has no custom assets, so serious props for that. The first half of the stage was fine, and posed and posed a nice challenge, but the second half... Oh man, that part was difficult without weapons. Apache Joe, Bladers, and the Cloud things from Flame Man stage is a really bad combo. The vertical section has some really tight jumps, and it's hard to get through without falling down, especially with all the enemies around. It's like a meeting of many of my least favorite enemies! JOY! Bustering this hall is absolute hell, but going at it with special weapons is pretty fun. I kind of wish the requirement of using weapons was indicated in any way, such as a jewel satellite block before the water section. That section with only a buster is a spaghetti fest. But it's very much fine as is. Some, some enemies and jumps I don't really agree with in this stage, but otherwise, this stage is pretty well made. And then it ends. I wish it utilized the exploding blocks that it introduced early on in more scenarios. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that could have been done here with them. As it stands, though, a nice level that requires some thinking. This level is just okay for me. I don't think there's much here that is particularly offensive to game design, except maybe the placement of the bladers in the level. But there's nothing that makes me want to have a lot. But there's nothing that makes me want to have a lot of fun here. I think the choice of assets was pretty cool. But aside from that, aside from that, there's little interest. There's little interesting here. God, I was doing so well, and now I can't talk. Boss corridor, no boss, no nothing. Complete anti-climax. Why? This is a level with more style and substance, and most of that style was pre-made assets. But that's fine, the assets chosen work well together. You have a very good eye for making the stage visually interesting. I like that there were... I like that there was variety in gimmicks, but it does have issues. 
The segment with the Puka is infuriating because it's combined with enemies that should never be mo combined with small moving platforms. Combining it with Junk Drop? Pretty good idea. With Lyrics? Also good. With Bladers? Uh. And with Apache Joe? What? Arrgh! Specific mention goes to that one blader which is too high for you to hit with most weapons, so you're almost always going to have it ram head first into you and knock you to your doom. This bit needed rethinking. The rest of the level is fine. You do have a good eye for graphics though, so hopefully you can get original assets to work with in the future. For once, I didn't have too much trouble with bladers this time. No. Oh, weird, but okay. Yeah. Hi, Flame Man! I need to keep my weight down so I don't oh eat much. God. I usually just go with a salad and a nice cold glass of water. You did not do your stereotypical Indian accent. You did not just do that. Look at him! How yeah. could I not? He, I'm he. so sorry to any people watching who find that offensive. I am terribly sorry I did not mean anything by that. Okay. You must understand. But on that note... <laughs> this is Hatred Elemental and Draco so does here signing out. We hope that you guys enjoyed, and we will see you again next time. Wily and the Skulls are staring into my soul as punishment. For good reason. You deserve it. I will join them. Boink. <laughs> Thank you for tweaking me on the nose. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye, guys.